Hey YouTube, welcome to Thinking of Pi. Today, I'm going to be talking about the Raspberry Pi camera. Now, if you're not familiar with my channel, I'm in the process of building a high altitude weather balloon. This thing should go up to around 100,000 feet, but there's no point in doing that if I can't take pictures and videos so that I can prove the flat earther is wrong. So let's take a look at the camera here. I've got it next to a bottle cap here for size comparison. It's pretty small. Um, it's got a ribbon cable. It came with the ribbon cable. I think these cost somewhere around 20 bucks. Now, since I'm gonna be using it with the Sense Hat, I've got that here as well. But let's take a look at the Pi real quick. Right here is the camera port. And you just lift this black piece up to put it in. It moves pretty easily and the blue part on the ribbon cable goes on the same side as that black piece so it just slips in here like that but i'm going to be using it with the sense hat so let's look at that here it's got this slot right here so we can just slip the ribbon cable right through there like that you want to make sure that you've got the sense hat in the right orientation before you start plugging things in And then we're just going to put that in here. There it goes. Press it in. It doesn't go in as easily this time. It's got a nice snug connection there. Pull the ribbon cable through. And the sense hat goes right onto the pins there. That's it. That's how you install the Pi camera. Now there's a lot of things we can do with this, so let's head over to the computer. I'll show you some code and we'll make some videos. All right, so the Pi camera is actually very, very easy to use. I did not expect it to be this easy. But first, before I show you the code, you do need to make sure that the camera interface is enabled. So you can go over here to your Raspberry Pi configuration and interfaces right here's the camera make sure that's enabled if you haven't done this before you can also do it through a command prompt with the raspi config command now i've got two programs i want to show you first one here is just simplest thing just turning it on recording a little bit of video and saving it there's a ton of things you can do i'm not going to be showing you everything just the stuff that i'm probably going to be using for the balloon stuff so first thing we're going to do here is import the Pi camera. I'm going to be using the time and sleep functions here. Then we define our camera object. We want to set the camera rotation. You can set that to anything you want. I want it to be in the normal upright orientation. I know that's rotate 180 degrees just based on trial and error. And I'm going to be recording in 1080p, so 1920 by 1080 for the camera resolution. And then all you have to do is say camera.startrecording and the name of your file. And I'm going to wait 10 seconds and then stop the recording. And I'll get a 10 second video titled video.h264. So let's go ahead and run this. Now there is a command for um popping up a preview however i'm doing this over vnc so the uh, preview isn't going to work over vnc i don't remember the reason why that doesn't work but it's not important i can work around it now this just finished recording and if we go into our home folder you'll see the file right here now I don't have uh, video software installed on the Pi, so I can't play it on here. Thankfully, I've got FTP set up. Just going to refresh this quick. There it is, 20 megabyte file, and download. And that defaults to my home folder over here. Just open that up with VLC. There it is. And it works just fine. So 
not a lot to making the camera work. Now, let's get into something a little bit more practical for the balloon project here. Now I do have the sense hat on there, so we've got the Pi camera, sense hat, date time, we've got our sense object, camera object, the rotation and the resolution, but I'm going to be doing something a little bit more with it here where I can actually annotate um, the temperature as an overlay on the video. So we've got this right here, camera dot annotate text, and that needs to be a string. So I've put the str command right here to format it as a string. I'm going to round it to three decimal places and then add the Celsius here at the end of it. And then we can choose our size. We've got active video stabilization and then we'll do our recording right here. And then it's going to, after it starts recording, it's going to update the temperature right here. We're going to annotate and update the temperature right here with the camera dot wait recording function. It's going to update every quarter of a second. And that's going to run for 60 seconds over here. And when it's done with the 60 seconds, it's going to stop recording right here. Um, let's just change this to 10 seconds since I'm not really doing anything important with it here. So we'll let that run. Now it did just overwrite the previous video. There's no need to prompt for that here when we're running the code. So we'll just run back over here to the FTP, refresh, download, overwrite the previous file. And let's go take a look at it. There we go. We've got the temperature on there. Now when it comes to doing the balloon, I'm probably going to put temperature, altitude, and some kind of a timestamp on there. So that'll be cool seeing the temperature and the altitude with um, the Earth in the background as it's floating up to 100,000 plus feet. Anyways, that's all I've got for today. Um, if you haven't done so yet, just make sure you hit that subscribe button. We've got a lot more videos coming up with this balloon project. And I will talk to you all next week. Thanks.